Today's can't miss, you really don't want to miss. No. So oh, sweet. this one is a great one. It's the story of a father's love and dedication, and it was all captured, Jacob, in one single photo. I have been seeing this photo yeah. all over the place. You guys have probably seen it, too. Check it out, guys. This is the picture. You can see a man with coal mine dust mm -hmm. sitting on his face. He's sitting there with his three-year-old son at the Kentucky Wildcats annual blue-white basketball scrimmage. It was posted, actually, by head coach John Calipari, getting nearly 60,000 likes in just two days, attention and fame that Michael McGuire says that he never, ever expected. It's just all mind-blowing. I, I never imagined it. Disbelief and excitement. Michael McGuire and his wife Molly are awestruck at the attention that this one photo garnered in a matter of days. On Saturday, McGuire rushed from the coal mines to Pikeville in order to take his three-year-old son Easton to his first in-person college basketball game. <laughs> Easton has took a huge interest in sports, um, so it was the perfect time to buy tickets for Michael and Easton to start that. Working long hours underground and up to six days a week, family time is precious to McGuire. With no time to spare, not even to clean off the coal mine dust that powdered his face and clothes, he got to the game in the nick of time. Didn't want to miss it. I've had to miss quite a few stuff. The sight of McGuire and his son moved head coach John Calipari, who posted this picture on Instagram, writing, My family's American dream started in a Clarksburg, West Virginia coal mine. So this picture hits home. Adding, he wanted to gift the family VIP tickets to Rupp Arena. Calipari wasn't the only one touched. Comments on the post included, You just won me over, coach. Being an ex-coal miner myself, I know this all too well. Another user writing, this is Kentucky in one photo. The annual blue-white scrimmage is one of UK's biggest fan favorites ahead of the regular season. But it was especially important this year, held in Pikeville, because it raised over $162,000 to help victims of this summer's deadly floods in eastern Kentucky. Floyd County, where McGuire's from, was one of the worst-hit areas. We had some friends that lost a lot. That's when we looked at each other and was like, all right, let's do what we can. The check was presented by the Wildcats to Kentucky's governor during halftime. As for the McGuire's time at the game... Easton was dancing and everything. It's been a fun experience for us as a family. Such a special game in, in so many ways. I didn't know this, but Michael and Molly told us it's actually pretty normal to see parents covered in coal dust at those practices. They say that kids don't even bat an eye. Coal <laughs> yeah. mining is the dominant industry by far in eastern Kentucky. And as for the VIP tickets, you guys, the McGuire said they're going to bring along their one-year-old daughter, Lindley, to the Aww. game. And there's another game coming up. Kentucky is facing off against the Kansas Jayhawks, who I think Chanel will probably oh, be yeah. going for uh, in January. <laughs> Kentucky that was basketball. Awesome. That's that amazing. Yeah, it's really that awesome. such a beautiful image. It? Man, I didn't know the story behind it. I was like, I thought that was beautiful. But that wow. part of Appalachia, I, yeah. I've been to Pikeville. I did a yeah. dateline there. Those are the greatest, kindest people. And I think it's just so well deserved the attention that he's wow. getting. Wow, yeah. really that cool, Jacob. Great. Good story. Thanks, thanks Jake. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.